All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I hope y'all doing all right. Stay strong and solid in these times that we're in. I hope that you're standing firm. I hope that your mental health is in a better place. I pray that you have a peace of mind and good sanity. I hope that you're safe and protected. I hope that your relationship with the Most High is getting better and closer. And I pray that things are going in a better direction for you as well. Now, today's message, I want to keep it just short and brief and just really just get straight to the point. I want to discuss about how you need a miracle ASAP. You need a miracle somewhere in your life. There's something you feel is a drought or dry or stagnant, or you may feel stuck or complacent. You might just feel like at a standstill, you feel like you're at a dead end. I'm letting you know right now that you do need a miracle from the most high of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You need the most high to do something abundant above and beyond for you in your moment right now. Right now, you feel like you don't know what direction to really go. You feel just really like paralyzed. You feel just kind of stuck. You don't know how to really handle your current situation or what's ahead of you or in front of you. But you need God to do something amazing for you. You need a wonder, a miracle, a work. You need something just like immediately ASAP, you know. Um, you, you're, you're so hungry and desperate and urgent for it. You've been, you've been yearning for it for, you've been yearning for it for a bit long. And I'm just letting you know that you do need a miracle. Um, you know, miracles aren't really talked about enough because, you know, a lot of times people get caught up in the false preaching and false miracles and false like apostles and all that stuff, right? When it comes to it, but, uh, miracles are very real. Okay. Do not doubt the power of God. Do not doubt God's outstretched arm and his mighty hand, okay? Do not have, do not lack faith, okay? Um, a lot of things are done, a lot of great things are done through faith. You have to understand when Christ walked the earth, he was healing people just left and right, just left and right. And he didn't pause, he didn't delay it, he did it immediately. Whenever he was in town and he saw someone needed help, he gave it to them right away. You need that type of miracle. You need that type of help. You need that type of urgency. You really need that. Whether it's you need a miracle with your health or a situate your living circumstances or something situational with your next move or decision or job or career or there's something you need a miracle in, okay? But what made the miracles come to pass from the most high from Christ, it was it was their faith. It was their faith that got that miracle done. Because what did Christ always say every time he healed somebody or did something for him? He said, your faith has made you well. It was the faith. All right. You need that faith, that assurance. You know God's going to do it for you. You know the most high. It's under his will. It's according to his plan. You're putting him first. Your intention and heart is in a good place. You know you need that help. You know you need that fix. You need that miracle. You need that life-changing event. You need that encounter. You need a miracle somewhere in your life, all right? And this is not no, uh, <laughs> no, 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 you know, false preaching, none of that, you know, false prosperity, prosperity stuff. I'm talking about like something really life changing right now. Um, you probably need a miracle, probably somewhere in your relationship or bonds with people or restoring something. Something needs to be restored. Something needs to be changed. You need some type of fix because all of us need it right now, especially in these times that we're in. This world is getting more evil and wicked by the day. Resources are hard to maintain and take care of when this system is crumbling down. So now we have to really have our faith on point. As we see this world goes down the drain, our faith the most high needs to increase. The most high is the source, not man, not government, not this system. The most high is our source. He's our helper. He will supply all of our needs. All right. I just want to just keep stressing this to y'all. We all need miracles somewhere. You need that big move, that big transition, that big transformation, that big change, that big fix, that big re restoration. You you need that, all right? Um, don't let nobody tell you otherwise. Don't let people think you crazy because you need something or you're urgent or yearning for something. Don't make nobody make you feel like something wrong with you, okay? Because a lot of, let me tell you, a lot of people need help in their lives too, but they just be front and act like they don't need something. A lot of people are very prideful and they don't want to look vulnerable. They don't want to look weak. They always want to look like they got it all together, got it all figured out. And that's false. You know what I'm saying? None of us have it figured out. None of us got it all together. If we had it all figured out and all together, we wouldn't need the most high. We wouldn't need faith. Don't, we wouldn't need to pray. Don't you think that? 
This is why we need to pray. This is why we need the most high. This is why we need to have faith because there's so much errors in our lives that just feel missing or void. All right. We need God. We need God. We need God's power over that. We need God's healing. We need God's fixing over it. Okay. You need a miracle in your life. All right. So everyone needs a miracle. Everybody. Everybody needs a life turning situation, a life changing a scenario, a powerful encounter. We all need that, okay? Because this world is really just getting greedy and wicked and evil and just taking, taking, taking from people. This world is not giving us nothing. I hope you understand that. Like, look at look at how we're living, right? Look how much we got to work throughout the days and the weeks. Look how much we have to go through just to get through the next month. This world is not giving us anything. God has to fulfill our needs. God, we have to really get right with God, okay? And we don't just have a relationship with God just for one stuff. Our heart got to be really pure. Our heart's got to be in the right place. We got to really have good intentions. I actually want to live better and do better. But we do have needs. We do have wants. We do have desires. We do have things that need to be fulfilled. We do have things in our lives that need restoration. There, where there is things in our lives that just definitely need a fix or a, a transition or a transformation or a whole turnaround. You know, we need a whole turnaround situation. We need some serious help. All right. Serious help, you know, straight up. OK, so I just want to express that we need miracles. OK, what I would love to do is just read a few scriptures, a few examples of it, um, mostly the New Testament and just kind of go from there, because when Christ and the disciples are walking the earth, people needed them. They needed that that power of God. They needed that miracle. They needed that encounter with the most high son. They needed that. They did not try to act, ignore it and try to act like they didn't want it. They wanted that power of God. They needed that. They wanted to be healed. They wanted to have their life changed. They wanted to have that that blessing. They wanted to have abundance. They wanted to have a testimony to tell. Hallelujah. And we all need that, okay? So I would just like to read some scriptures that kind of show these examples and just go from there, all right? Here we go. The book of Psalms 77, verse 14. You are the God who works wonders. You have made known your strength among the peoples. The book of Acts chapter 19, verse 11, God was performing extraordinary miracles by the hands of Paul. The book of Mark chapter 6, verse 5, and he could do no miracle there except that he laid his hands on a few sick people and healed them. The book of Hebrews chapter 2, verse 4, God also testifying with them both by signs and wonders and by various miracles and by gifts of the Holy Spirit according to his own will. The book of John chapter 4, verse 48, So Jesus said to him, unless you people see signs and wonders, you simply will not believe. The book of John, chapter 10, verse 38. But if I do them, though you do not believe me, believe the works so that you may know and understand that the father is in me and I in the father. All right. The book of John, chapter 20, verse 30. Therefore, many other signs Jesus also performed in the presence of the disciples, which are not written in this book. The book of Galatians, chapter three, verse five. So then does who send so then does he who provides you with the spirit and works miracles among you do it by the works of the law or by hearing with faith? The book of Acts chapter two, verse twenty two. Men of Israel, listen to these words. Jesus the Nazarene, a man attested to you by God with miracles and wonders and signs, which God performed through him in your midst, just as you yourselves know. The book of John chapter twelve, verse thirty seven. But though he had performed so many signs before him, yet they were not believing in him. The book of Job, chapter 5, verse 9. Who does great and unsearchable things? Wonders without number. The book of John, chapter 10, verse 41. Many came to him and were saying, while John performed no sign, yet everything John said about this man was true. The book of John, chapter 6, verse 2. A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs which he was performing on those who were sick. The book of Acts chapter 8 verse 6, the crowds with one accord were given attention to what was said by Philip as they heard and saw the signs which he was performing. The book of Judges chapter 6 verse 13, then Gideon said to him, O my Lord, if the Lord is with us, why then has all this happened to us? And where are all his miracles which our fathers told us about, saying, did not the Lord bring us from, from Egypt? But now the Lord has abandoned us and given us into the hand of Midian? The book of Acts chapter 6 verse 8, as Stephen, full of grace and power, was performing great wonders and signs among the people. 
The book of John, chapter 2, verse 23. Now when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover during the feast, many believed in his name, observing his signs which he was doing. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 1, verse 22. For indeed, Jews ask for signs and Greeks search for wisdom. All right, so those are the scriptures when it comes to miracles. You can see throughout the Old and New Testament, especially the New Testament, how much people needed their lives changed, how much they wanted those encounters with God, how much they wanted those signs, wonders, or what have you. You know, God did a miracle for those Israelites, getting them out the hand of Egypt, you know, through Moses. That was a miracle. That was a wonder. That was the power of God. All right. There's so much examples of power of, of the power of God and miracles and wonders all throughout the Old and New Testament and the lost books of the Bible. Um, the thing with the men of the Most High and women of the Most High, too, because, you know, Sarah, she got a miracle, too. She was about 99, 100 years old when she gave birth to a child and God did that miracle for her. You know, so God works miracles for men. He works miracles for ch for women. He works uh, miracles for children, too. You know, God has a big heart. He's a big giver, very abundant, does way more than we can imagine. And we have to have that belief and faith, you know, put too much people doubt too much. Too much people have a low thinking scale. Too much people just have too much skept uh, skepticism. You know, we got to have that assurance, that faith, that boldness, like we know he's going to do it. You know, we got to claim it. We got to walk in it. We got to be aligned with it, okay? We got to know he's going to do it. We don't need to know the details, but we know he's going to get it done. He, we know what he's going to do through us. And all of us need miracles. All of us need encounters. All of us need wonders and signs. We all need those things, all right? Because if we're just living our lives, just going through the motions and not experiencing no encounters or any miracles or any life-changing things, then what type of life is that, you know? So we have to be more aware of that as we live in our lives, you know, God always does miracles for his people, but we as a people, we got to want those things more. We have to want to live right and live better for that. We have to want to keep looking forward to it and keep changing and doing better for it as well. All right. So let's get these miracles, man. You know, we need it. Stop acting like you don't need something. You do need something. Trust. You need, you need multiple things. You only just want thing. you need a lot of things from the most high trust. The times we in, how hard people are struggling and going through it and overworking themselves. Oh, yeah, we need the most high, like more than ever. OK. And not just out of hunger and just for one things, but really just his presence, you know, just a closer relationship, you know, more confirmation, more revelation, more closure. We need those things a lot because this world is confusing people. This world is leaving people empty handed and just screwing people over. OK. So let's do better. Let's really let's beg and ask God for those miracles, all right, with that faith, too, like straight up, all right? So that's the scriptures concerning the faith and miracles and the power of God. We definitely need that, all right? So what I would like to do as we close out is just give all glory to the Most High of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and his son who died for our sins and give him all the praises. Hallelujah. So here we go. He is the Adam, the Advocate, the Almighty, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. Amen. The Apostle of our profession, the Arm of the Lord, the Atonement Sacrifice for our sins, the Author and Finisher of our faith, the Author and Perfecter of our faith, Author of life, the Author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the Beloved Son, the Blessed and Holy Potent, the Blessed and Only Ruler, the Branch, the Bread of God, the Bread of Life, the Bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, the creator, the dayspring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father, the faith of true witness, the faithful of true, the faithful witness, the first and the last, the first begotten, the firstborn from the dead, the firstborn over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the high priest, the holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory. The horn of salvation, the I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal, king of Israel, king of kings and Lord of lords, king of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the light of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Be Yahweh, Ahayah, Shai, Yeshua, Mahamashiach. 
Barakatha Shalawam Shalom, our righteousness, Yah, Lord of all, Lord of glory, Lord of lords, man from heaven, man of sorrows, mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten Son of God, our great God, our Savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice to pass over lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection of life, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the ruler of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine, the truth, the way, the way, the truth, the life, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word. Hallelujah. Amen. So there y'all have it. We serve an awesome creator and his son is amazing for dying for our sins. Okay. So there you have it. Let's keep asking the most high for those miracles. Let's keep getting our lives changed. Let's keep walking in it. Okay. Let's keep getting those wonder, those wonderful signs and wonders. Let's keep just, you know, enjoy that spirit realm, that prophetic realm. You know, let's walk in it. Let's walk in spirit and truth. Let's worship him in spirit and truth. Okay. Let's come out of Babylon and come into the most high. All right. Let's stop being so earthly and fleshly so bad and start really getting to the spirit. Okay. Because our habits, our lifestyles, it's what's blocking people's blessings. It's what's blocking miracles, blocking breakthroughs, those bad strongholds. We have to break those. Okay. The one thing about God's people in the Bible, they were able to walk away from things. That's how they got fully blessed by God. Okay. So let's do better and hold ourselves more accountable. Hallelujah. So I pray to God that whoever listens to this message, I pray that you get baptized, you start your life for the most high. I pray that things turn around for you. I pray that God does something miraculous for you. I pray that, I'm speaking it right now, I pray that God turn your situation into a much more better, abundant situation. Hallelujah. I pray that God blows your mind away. I pray that God just, he's going to amaze, he's going to make you just, wow, you're going to jump for joy. The things, the things God is about to give you. Your heart is just going to rejoice so much. Your soul is going to be restored. Your mind is just going to be blown. You won't believe God did it for you. But that's how amazing he's going to do something for you. Watch how much he changes your life. Watch how much he changes your situation. Hallelujah. I'm Jarvis Kane, so I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.